over to Casey's shop and uh, first thing, Laborio wants to go for a ride. So we're gonna go. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Ooh. There's no seatbelts. We die like men. Don't tease me. Right here, is, you can see which gear you're in. You gotta go down one more. You're in neutral. There you go. I want your honest opinion. You can well, drive it like you stole it. I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a big fan of reciprocating vibration, but I could get used to it. Just looking at this thing. Oh yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, last time we were in a bump crew of your bump crew. Now we're in my bump crew. Well, that means we're bump bros. You know it. So how's life been? It's been a little bit. I haven't seen you. Yeah, a couple of months. And, um, you know, it's been so hard to deal with the clout that I earn, thanks to you. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure You're you going to need to give it a little more gas. So the other day, I went with my son to a car meet. He was invited me to. And we stopped at the gas station and this couple uh, comes up, walks over to us and like, hey, we see you in Forera. Like, <laughs> yeah, no crap. Everybody's seen me in Forera. I love it, bro. Yeah, it's like, that's a good feeling. All right, like, you're so driving this too careful. Floor it, put your foot all the way down. Uh, can we roll pull? Yeah, you'll see. Put your foot all the way to the floor. So we just made it over here to Casey's and he's got a really good question. In the comment section below, let me know, is butt cheeks one word or should I spread them apart? And then, here we are. So it looks like Casey must have driven his OG Lightning today. And uh, I love this thing. Super cool, super clean. And then Jason's. 68's back so we did a what the truck with this a long time ago links in the description if you guys want to watch it and this is a 68 coyote swapped f100 that casey built for jason a buddy out of arizona and this truck is everything it's just so clean and simple and classy just beautiful I'm sure he's uh I guess gonna probably do a bunch of upgrades. Here's Blake's truck. So Blake's got this, uh, I think it's an 81. Oh, it looks like he just put in some beams. That looks really nice. What else we got? Luke's truck. Cantons. I made it inside. Thanks for letting me in. How you been? Good, how are you? Can't complain. You guys have been working, it looks like. Yeah, we've rearranged it a few times probably since you've been here. Looks nice. This is what you're working on? Yeah. All the gapping? Uh, just trying to fit all the little accessories, doing the full drive uh, levers now, so. Nice. This thing is so cool. I love it. It's gonna be so fast. Oh yeah. This little tiny it's truck. Turn over on the side. <laughs> Hopefully the guy uses it. It's in the ground every day. Oh yeah? We'll see. Be pretty excited. That's awesome. I'm excited about this freaking gallop. Gosh. I love this. Yeah, he is. Looks so good. Nice. The hot brush shops up too. Ooh. 
ACs on. So they got the IROC, looks like got the suspension in from Detroit. What up, Blakey? How you doing? I was just showing him your truck out there, dude. That thing looks good. What you got under there, buddy? We got two. two. <laughs> Would you look at that? All painted up nice, Ford blue. That's badass. Yeah. You can. Ooh, that'll be nice. Yeah. That'll make about 214 away. That'll be a good daily. That's cool. I was just over by the auto center talking with Laborio, and we're gonna leave gold dust here tonight so he could get on it in the morning and he's gonna see if he could uh remedy some of the issues that i'm having i've got a bunch of uh bunch of leaks so he's gonna take a look at everything and i'm gonna crash at casey's tonight so that'll be fun so i'm gonna go drive it over there and uh yeah here we go Take the easier route. Luggage out, we parked gold dust inside, and uh, tomorrow Laborio is going to, I guess, look at the leaks and some other different things and get me all ready to make it back home. So, uh, yeah, now let's go back to Casey's shop and see what they got going over there. What's up? Look at my voice, I'm so excited to see you. Why? I don't know. What's up with that mustache, dude? Hey ladies. Yeah. yeah, just hit me up. I'm just kidding, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? I heard you're getting a lightning. Yeah, uh, I've been wanting it for a while. Um, and then dad, uh, dad joked around one day and said, you know, give me the blue truck and I'll give you the white lightning and I'm gonna take it because it's a lightning. So <laughs> why not take it, you know what I mean? I wanna do that. Um, at some point, I'm gonna leave it stock for a while, but I wanted to put a two bumper on it. Uh, Hell yeah. At some point, maybe in the next year or two, uh, put a 7.3 Godzilla with a six speed automatic in it. So, with, uh, from Godzilla, you know about that. Godzilla mm -hmm. Garage. Get that from them. And I still can't get over that you look like a man, dude. The beard, uh, the mustache, uh, people, people give me dirty shit. hat. People, yeah, people give me shit all the time for that. So. <laughs> it, it's, either, it's either, they told me to grow this out, I do it and then I get made fun of. So it's like either way. It's, you always are gonna get I made fun I, of. If I shave it, you look like a baby. Yeah. 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 So. Well, it's nice to see you, dude. It's nice to see you too, man. But we're closing up. We got the bump all pulled in. I freaking love this thing. Let me pop the hood for you guys. Oh, I already had a Whipple. This thing is so clean. I'm in love. I like it. We're taking Casey's new truck. Which is Luke's old truck. They traded. Like, for reals. Which is pretty cool. So we just pulled up to Stang High, which is Cody. And I've never been here before. What up? What's up? Nothing much. Say hi to YouTube. What's up? 
How you been, bro? Good. Figured you might want to show me this. Shot. Shot. How you been? Oh, dude, it's fun. I'm excited to check this place it's out. Crazy man, trying to get everything together. Dude, look at this place. Yep. KC and me went a little crazy on the floors, but yeah, I mean, very much worth it now. Is this your girl right here? Yes, yeah, she's very dirty though. I mean, she still looks clean. <laughs> yes, she does. Look at that. And look at that wing. I like that. So what kind of power is that thing making, Cody? Actually, right now it's back stock. So oh. we had a, uh, there's a, an update for the ECM and the TCM that Ford did. And uh, whenever we update it, obviously it erases all the programming that we've done. So, so at its best, what did it do? Um, we did like 740 tire. Which nice. Is all, which is just like a drop-in filter and a program. That's it. So nothing nothing crazy. Um, you know I got that motor now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you to tell me what we need to do. Yeah, we're going to definitely do some... Now I see I have some time. Once I do it, I can do what I wanted to do with it. We've got some other goodies. We've got a couple packages already for it. Um, my 850 package is kind of like a best-selling little quick package. It's 100 horsepower extra and pretty inexpensive to do. It only takes a day or two to do it. So Heck yeah. We'll probably put that one back together on it for this one just to kind of show it off. But then we might go crazy. So That'd be cool. Yeah. Well... We're gonna keep hanging out, and I'll pick you guys back right, up soon. Casey, what are we doing? Do you see how fast the truck moves? I'm gonna turn the tire pressure monitors off so we can see. That was cute. Not bad for bone stock. Not at all. When are you ordering a Whipple or some twin turbos? Uh, soon, hopefully. <laughs> and then you need some, uh, like, slicks, I think. Definitely slicks. And then you're gonna just keep blowing, blowing past Chris's house over here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are just gonna need to, like, pay, repave this, but with tires? He blew up his, uh, his four-wheel drive. Ah. Uh, he blew up his uh, front differential today, or yeah. yesterday. So it sounds like a fair match then. Yeah, now it's just rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive. Yeah, exactly. Except he's got twin turbos on his. I mean, mine's top. For now. For now. Now, my real favorite part the garages. Casey, last time I made a video here, everybody kept asking about your grandpa's Ram because we didn't talk about it at all because we're a Ford channel. But I think we should tell them about it. Well, we can just talk about it. We don't need to start it. It doesn't have a Hellcat in it yet. Yeah. So what's the story? Drop a comment below. Do you think it's going to start? That's it. That's good. I. <laughs> it's a sewing machine. You know. Ninety four. Dodge. They call them fifteen hundreds. What are they call these things? Ram fifteen hundred. It's a three eighteen automatic. It's my grandpa's truck. Only truck he ever owned. His whole life, he only had cars. And uh, he, had, he had a little saying: "Is uh, poor old Stu wouldn't you know his luck?" The only man in Sutton who never owned a truck. <laughs> and so he got this, and it was his baby. And uh, it sat all winter. He didn't drive in the winters. He was in Massachusetts. And he sent it down to me because he wanted to get it repainted. So had it repaint he brought it down to me. We took it all apart, repainted it black. Got it all fixed up, fixed the, you know, got new plastics and stuff like that for it and whatnot. And uh, he asked me to keep it over the winter because we finished it, it was like gonna be winter. And he's like, I'd rather just be able to park my car inside instead of outside. So maybe just bring it back in the spring. They passed away during the winter. So he never saw it finished, uh, unfortunately. But we took it up there for his funeral and I drove it in the procession. And my uncle got it. And I asked my uncle, I said, hey, you know, if you ever 
don't want the truck, uh, can I have first dibs at it? And he said yes. And so last spring, he calls me and asked me if I was still interested in it. And I said yes. So my dad uh, went up and trailer back for me. And we had to do some, you know, because it was four years later. It's been a little over four years since he died, five, something like that. And uh, did some cleanup work on it and got it running and driving it and all the leaks fixed and everything else from it just sitting around up there. And there's a couple more things I want to do to it, but all in all, it's this cool truck. One day we need to maybe Hellcat swap it or something, but. It's so clean. Just a cool pickup. It's hard to think, like, it's a body style went for so long, so it doesn't seem like it's older than my Lightning, but it's older than the Lightning, which is strange to me. It is. It's really cool. I love it. I mean, I never see them. Like, you see lightnings, but you don't really see rams. Almost at all. The interior is, like, really clean, too. Did you redo the interior? That's just how it was. I redid the headliner and the visors because they were falling off. The dash and everything's original. The seat's original. I took the carpet out of it. I took the seat covers actually off and cleaned everything and put everything back on. So it's pretty much all original. We took door panels off, new weather stripping and everything, bill moldings. And then since last time I was here, there's a, there's a truck gone. Red lightning's gone. And technically the white lightning's gone too. I mean, it's not leaving, but... Or, I mean, should we not say it on camera? Or is it not official? Not official, so I have money in my hand. Ooh, Luke. He knows I'll give it to him. So, so that means we should tell them what happened. I'm buying it. Well, Buy you're it. trading. Or, yeah, he's taking the blue truck. I'm giving him money. So what's the plan for the blue truck? Um, either Whipple or Turbos. One or the other. Not sure yet. And then just wheels. And Luke, what's the plan for the Lightning? Uh, so what is it? Up. Tell me all about your truck, buddy. What? Um, uh, 95, right? Yeah, it's a 95. Um, mostly original. Um, I just found out that the motor was pretty modified. The cams and a bunch of other stuff on it. Um, transmission was built a little bit as well. Um, I really want to fix up the panel in the front because there's a bunch of like little chips and everything. That, you know, not as it's not, been driven. It's been driven, which is a good thing. It's not garage clean. Um, What's cool is this has been in the family kind of a long time because it's. You know, it was obviously Cody's truck, and then your dad's, now yours, so like... Yep. It was um, my truck, then Cody's, then my truck, then his. Really? I bought the truck. I was the first one to buy it, so I bought it. I found it on Craigslist a long time ago, and it was the front picture of it only, and it was $5,000 F-150. Huh. And it's back where it never been. And I happened to have my truck and trailer with me, and I sent one of my guys up to Oklahoma to get it because the, uh, I said, if it's a lightning, bring it back. Because it also was up front. And I said, man, it's got all this stuff. Because it even had the black trim on the window mm -hmm. instead of the chrome. So I was like, that's got to be a lightning. And went up there and brought it back for 5000 bucks. And the only, reason, the only thing I wanted off of it was the two bumper and the console. And then Cody needed, he just sold his car and he wanted something to drive back to Louisiana. And then he swindled me out of it. <laughs> and then I got it back. We are building him a 65 F100 at the time. And he used it as payment to finish his truck. So I've had it ever since then. I haven't so, really done anything to it. What all was done to it from when you bought it for 5K? Everything Cody did. So Cody did some transmission work on it. Mm -hmm. Rebuilt the front end. Cleaned up and rebuilt the motor. They pulled the motor out. They didn't. They didn't like uh, change pistons or re-ring it or anything. But they cleaned it all up, put new cam in it, surfaced the heads, redid the heads on it, whatnot. Um, full Bassani exhaust. And then since I've had it, I've rebuilt the rear end. I painted the wheels, painted center caps, new tires. Uh, I put head. I got. Um, you can still buy them from Ford, so I got tail lights. Headlights, park lights, and marker lights from Ford. Painted the grill. Yeah, I think that's about all I've done to it. So now that it's yours, what else? We got the front end. Obviously, you have the motor set up pretty good. It might need a Vortec, I think. We'll see. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, still, also, I'm not convinced I'm doing it yet. Since you said it, I'm going to tell all of them. Okay. He thinks that a car that has cams that shake like this isn't cool. No, that's not at all what I said. It's cool. <laughs> don't twist my words. No, it's cool. <laughs> I don't want to own one. It's just a person. So let's hear the cam in this thing because I think it sounds pretty freaking good. No, but it doesn't shake the whole damn thing. I know, so let's hear I it. Like, I don't like when, like... I'm saying let's let's let them hear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys can see how clean this interior is, too. I mean, it's got some stuff in it, but it's super clean. Oh, yeah, like the seats have no rips or anything. Like, it's just nice. This headliner's nice. I'm just gonna have to hear that for a second. Yeah. Um, so, what else do you want to do on the inside, maybe? Like, what are your upgrades in here, maybe? Um, so, I'm actually having to go through, um, because Dad has a bunch of lightning parts, so I have to go through that with him and see what all he's got, but, um, he's already got, like, a dash, because his dash is already kind of coming apart, um, probably new, like, switches and stuff like that, just to make it look newer, um, that's really it, I mean, not really much to left, I mean, go ahead and start her up. Not against it. I think without the bumper, it's a little boring. Just my opinion. Yeah, two bumper. Two bumper. For and sure, because also lightnings need two bumpers. Like absolutely. A lightning without a two bumper is just oh. an F one fifty with stickers. Oh yeah, because they also have. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they had. There's also the uh, the step bumper as well, right? Yep. That lightning has. I like those too, but I mean, he's already got a two bumper, so it's like, yeah. why not just go ahead and put that on? Because I think it looks better anyway. So probably that. Really it. I mean, really paint up a much. few things. Yeah, and then, like I said, at some point I want to. Uh, so this will be the daily, and then that's the. It's a nice day daily. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, at some point, hopefully, maybe the next year or two, once I'm kind of, you know, ready for more power and stuff like that, I'll probably put a Godzilla seven or seven three Godzilla with a six R one forty in it, and then just leave it alone. No, nope, no, nope. Dad, I won't do any cams. Uh huh. Sure. Quit. You're definitely gonna want to put cams in a Godzilla. I'm just gonna leave it. I want it stock. 430 horsepower. Just stock. That's all I want. That's plain. Casey, okay, you think he's gonna like a stock oh, here Godzilla? We go. Here we go. After having Larky with a blown coyote? I don't know. I wouldn't. You can never go down in power. Oh, what yeah. is that? That's the two bumper license plate. Ah. Hell yeah. Here's all the best things I need to buy. Here's all the <laughs> hey, ignition, ignition switch. A box of lightning parts. Yeah. Here's all the, the mirrors that I blasted. Ignition switch. So these are this is all the stuff that I got when I got, uh, called the Ford dealership. Yep. And it's like there's only two left in the country, so I bought both of them. So that's two left? New from Ford. From Ford. They just didn't have any. People People don't know. Sway by Wilkins. Pops is a collector, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the new passenger window motor and polyurethane bushings. The other bumper bracket. That sounds like everything I need to put in that baby. Okay. Bumper brackets for the two bumper. Here's my favorite truck. I'm obsessed with this thing. Always have been. Probably always will be. Casey, can I pop the hood in the green truck? God. Isn't this thing just perfect? This is how every engine bay needs to look. Perfect. <laughs> Who has a truck this nice and doesn't even care to clean it? This is literally one of the best freaking trucks ever. I love how the roll cage is tied in. So good.
And then, Larky. So this is a 76 F-150. And then, this is now Casey's 2021 F-150. So this is the truck. Originally, he got it brand new for Luke when he turned 15 and got his license. And today, they traded this for that. A <laughs> very unfair trade for Luke, but whatever. All right, I uh, think we're not gonna have anything else to do after this part. So, video is pretty much over. If you guys can, subscribe, drop a comment below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Good night, guys. Luke. Good night. I think he's gonna show you something for your truck. in here I'm gonna show trucks off the dream truck probably the most insanely awesome truck ever look how peppered that is and What are we showing off over here? Some NOS parts? Yeah, you cut that out and you screw the thing in there. It's just a new dash as a port. That's nice. That's really nice.